Museum is open Saturdays and Sundays, 10 to 4 p.m. New England Motorcycle Museum, Captain Cycles, y'all know the deal. Feast your eyes on this absolutely stunning 1982 Honda CBX. This is the last year of the double overhead cam 24 valve six cylinder flagship of the Honda lineup. You know, if you closed your eyes while riding this bike and someone told you it was a 2022, you'd believe it because it feels thoroughly modern. This last year of the CBX had the best of everything the 39 millimeter forks, the vented stainless front disc brakes, triple disc brakes. Just an absolutely fantastic motorcycle. The fairing, the ergonomics, the fit and finish. I've owned quite a few CBXs. There's a bunch on our channel that, that you can see that we videoed. My first one I bought in 1990 when I was 25 years old. So I'm no stranger to the CBX. And I can tell you with, with confidence and authority, this is the nicest CBX I've seen in ages. 4,768 miles, fresh out of the Howard Heist collection. Sadly, Howard passed away and his widow tasked us with selling his collection. I saved the best for last. It's Friday night, July 4th weekend, and I wanted to end it on a good note, and I knew what a joy it would be to ride this bike. So this is a test ride I didn't want to end. Everything about this bike is a 10. The fit and finish, electrically, mechanically, cosmetically, this is like a brand new motorcycle. Now, Howard had this on museum display. He had a private museum display with two CBX six-cylinder motorcycles, the Benelli SEI, and the Benelli uh, 7, 750 SEI and the 900. So you had a, a bevy of six cylinder bikes. This was far and away the most absolutely stunning one. Look at the look at the decals on this. Look at the metal flake on the paint. The paint job on the engine looks like it just came out of the box. Guys, this is not a restored bike. This is a mint original. I own the New England Motorcycle Museum. I'm the curator. I've seen over 7,000 classic vintage motorcycles come and go here at the museum in very once in a blue moon. You get an original like this with very low miles that's in perfect condition. Unrestored original perfection is what I'm after as a curator of the museum. I'd, I'd much rather have this than one that had been frame off restored with 10,000 or 20,000 miles on it. 4,768 miles. The manic mechanic himself, who's the best multi cylinder Japanese mechanic in the Northeast, did a video on him rebuilding the carbs on this. The, car, the bike ran when it came here, but it didn't run perfectly. So there's a video online showing him dismantling the carburetors completely and completely cleaning all the jets and tuning this carburetor system, the six carbs to perfection. I can't say that I've ever been on a CBX that ran this good. I'm gonna go as, as far as to say, and this isn't even a stretch, that this runs better than they did brand new because he micro drilled the pilot jets on it, which is something only a master mechanic like him knows how to do. So this, they came a little lean from the factory. This one runs absolutely beautiful. It's really an amazing piece. A very wise friend of mine told me once, Sorry, we got a little distracted here. A couple of my friends just showed up on Harleys and I forgot exactly where I let off, left off, but you know, basically look at the pictures, look at this bike, listen to the video of it running and decide for yourself. But a very wise friend of mine told me once, buy the best and you'll never regret it. There's no way you're gonna find one that needs a restoration and create this. It's just not gonna happen uh, unless you've got hundreds of hours of time and uh, you think you're gonna get lucky finding NOS parts because a lot of this stuff is discontinued. The, the condition of the fairing, the engine cases, the pegs, it's just beautiful. I believe these are the original handlebar grips also. They've got a little bit of uh, checking on them, but th those are the original original ones. Uh, this is, the Howard was a member of the International CBX Owners Association. You can see the headlight and the glass on the front is in beautiful condition. The uh, fairing's in beautiful shape. The front fender is in outstanding condition. It's got a uh, like new Metzler tire on there. The finish on the forks, the chrome is beautiful. The discs are beautiful. The calipers are in beautiful shape. You can see it has new brake pads. The condition of the six exhaust pipes is just beautiful, like perfect. 
no evidence of any oil leaking. The paint on the motor is beautiful. The valve covers are in beautiful condition. The oil cooler is in mint shape. The gas tank, there's, I don't see a single scratch on the gas tank. It's just absolutely gorgeous, as is the fairing. Um, no damage on the side of the fairing here. The side cover is beautiful. There's one little scratch on the cover of the saddlebag, but you can see the saddlebag's in beautiful condition. The hinges are in perfect shape. All the chrome on the bike is just beautiful. Uh, it's, a, it's a 10. The fit and finish of the frame, the center stand, the kick stand, everything's just super fresh and clean on this bike. Uh, the upholstery, the seat, the uh, rear tail light. Um, these bikes are regularly bringing 20 plus on Mecham, and I, I've yet to see one this nice recently come out up for sale. Uh, it's certainly one that doesn't run this good. This is tuned to perfection. The Pro Link swing arm stickers intact, the uh, Honda original stickers, the, the damping force adjustment for the shock, adjustable shock sticker. Uh, there's a battery tender lead on here. Um, the fairing's in beautiful shape on this side. The bag's in beautiful shape, no damage. Uh, the um, tank is just gorgeous, as is the fairing on this side. Uh, no evidence of it ever being dropped or damaged on this side that I can see anywhere. Um, the, the bike's just absolutely gorgeous. There's one small crack on the around the uh, surround for the uh, right here on the, the the mirror and that may have been caused during shipping i don't know um we had it shipped here it might have happened I'm, I'm assuming that it happened during shipping but i do have the work order in the back pocket it's a miracle didn't fly out driving down the road uh, i've got a clean title to it in hand um and i'll go over the work order with you uh we just invested three thousand dollars into the bike and parts and labor uh, it was a total of 21 hours labor the carburetors removed, they were completely disassembled, replaced the fuel tube O-rings, micro-drilled the pressed-in pilot jets, set the fuel screws, sink the butterflies, change the oil and filter, replaced the spark plugs, got it running perfectly, then went through the brake system, cleaned and honed all three brake calipers, rebuilt the front nostril cylinder, installed new front, new brake pads front and rear, installed the new battery with the battery tender lead, aired up the tires, and gave it a full 100 point inspection that was a manic mechanic that went through it and it's absolutely perfect everything works just like brand new then i went to the detail shop where it was steam cleaned hand washed they polished all the chrome all the aluminum the fairing all the painted uh portions of the bike were given a nice coat of uh, carnauba paste wax so it's nice and protected um just an absolutely beautiful piece uh, all original paint no evidence of any touch up everywhere on anywhere on this bike uh, total parts and labor Parts was $424 plus the labor, 21, 21 and a half hours labor, came to 2580 so the job total, subtotal was $3,004 um, out the door with tax. So new battery, new oil filter, new oil. It's got VP small engine fuel in it. We like to run the non-ethanol fuel from VP on all of our vintage motorcycles, classic bikes six engine K plugs, DOT4 brake fluid, EBC brake pads, and new float ball gaskets. Just an absolutely stunning machine. The finest I've seen in ages. Uh, rest assured you're buying a classic that's only going up in value. That's an absolute joy to behold and even more fun to ride. Just, I love this paint combo. I had the silver one. I much prefer that this, this, this uh, it has like a um, metal flake. Uh, it's a real special paint job with the, the bright blue and light blue pinstripes with the black it's just absolutely gorgeous and it runs as you'd expect a brand new motorcycle to run it's being driven back into the museum it'll be on display in the honda section here at the new england motorcycle museum it's being sold to raise funds for the museum it's only up for sale because the owner passed away howard heiss and he was a collector of six cylinder world-class motorcycles all of his bikes the comment that his benelli had 1200 miles on it the sei all of his bikes were low mileage, pristine, unrestored originals, just tuned to perfection. So uh, his he had a collection of Z1s, the 1973 Z1 sold last week for at auction for on eBay for thirty thousand. The seventy four sold for twenty five thousand, and the the seventy five sold for twenty two thousand five hundred. Just to give you an idea of the value of his bikes, this one I, I fully suspect will bring well north at twenty. I haven't seen one this nice come up on eBay in a while. If you have any questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching. It is Friday night, 4th of July. A couple of my friends just stopped by. I lost my focus for a second, so hopefully I didn't repeat myself, but you get the idea. It's a beauty. Um, if you have any questions about it, 
Look at the profile of this thing. It is a timeless design, like a Porsche 911 or a 69 Chevelle or a 73 or uh, a 63 Corvette split window. You know, some vehicles just stand the test of time. If you look at the rear quarter view here, from here, it just is just, just a stunning machine. You won't find a finer one, so a bit high, a bit off, there's only one. Thanks for watching and God bless America.